My granddad was a simple man. When it came to his stakes, he was just as simple. He was born in the 1920s, fought in World War II, lived through the Great Depression, worked his entire life, was very simple because granddad came from a simple time. And I'm gonna show you how he would have made a steak. I'm using a ribeye. It doesn't matter if he was using a ribeye or what. This is how he would have made it. He would have made it either on the stove or he would have done it over an open flame. But the key to this whole thing is the butter and the cast iron. You just take some butter, put it into a cast iron pan, and put it over some heat. That cast iron pan needs to be super hot in order to put this ribeye down. With our cast iron pan super hot and that butter, let's throw that steak down. Listen to that sizzle. A little bit of butter up top. Throw some salt on top of that steak. Throw some pepper down. Cook it away. Granddad would have cooked this steak for about two and a half to three minutes on each side and then called it. We're at the two and a half minute mark. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's granddad right there. Put a little more butter down on the top there. Now I can guarantee granddad did not have a thermometer and he would have done this completely by feel. Oh yeah, beautiful. We've hit that five minute mark. That's good bounce back too. I think it's done. That looks absolutely awesome. I think granddad would be very proud. After a long day of shooting videos for YouTube, you know you gotta edit and that's the worst part. What helps me get through the edit is a nice ice cold Patty Joe beer. That my friends is the sound of freshness. The next time you want to get Schindler's or just pissed drunk, grab a Patty Joe's beer. Boy, it's time to check Granddad's steak out. Looks great, it's got beautiful aroma. Looks good inside. Very nice, it's got a good buttery taste, but I think it needs more salt and pepper. Cut that piece of fat off. It's got good color in there if you're into, you know, rare to medium rare steaks. Mm. Very simple, but you know, like I said, that's how granddad was. They wouldn't have had a steak knife. They would have had just a sharp knife, no serrated edges. They had probably just used their camp knives or whatever pocket knife they had. I did see him use a pocket knife. I remember that. Tell you what, this steak is good. Mm. Right on. There you have it. Granddad's steak. Super simple, we've got butter, salt, pepper, ribeye steak cooked on a hot cast iron pan. Simpler the better sometimes. All right, we'll see you on the next episode.